Good Sunday morning. We're in 1 Chronicles chapter 11. Once when David was at the rock near the cave of Adullam, the Philistine army was camped in the valley of Rephaim. The three, who were among the 30, an elite group among David's fighting men, went down to meet him there. David was staying in the stronghold at the time and a Philistine detachment had occupied the town of Bethlehem. David remarked longingly to his men, Oh, how I would love some of that good water from the well by the gate in Bethlehem. So the three broke through the Philistine lines, drew some water from the well by the gate in Bethlehem, and they brought it back to David. But David refused to drink it. Instead, he poured it out as an offering to the Lord. God forbid I should drink this, he exclaimed. This water is the, as precious as the blood of these men who risked their lives to bring it to me. So David did not drink it. These are examples of the exploits of the three. This chapter is the record of a group of warriors that supported David and helped him. They, they helped him to accomplish the mission that God had given him. Men like Joshabim, who stood alone against 300 enemies and defeated them. He was a leader. He was the leader of the 30. Men like Eliezer, who stood with David in a plot of barley when all the other soldiers fled and God gave them victory. Men like Abishai, who defeated 300 men with his spear. Benaiah killed a lion in a pit on a snowy day. What are the admirable qualities of these warriors who support the man of God? Well, they believe God, they trust God, but my takeaway this morning from this passage is that they're more concerned for their brothers and sisters than they are for themselves. The three mighty men went and did something brave because they loved David. They weren't seeking honor. They weren't seeking glory. They didn't want to be recognized and get a pat on the back. They wanted the best for their brother David, realizing that they were on the same team. You are called to love your brothers and sisters in Christ as yourself. You are to love them and serve them, not so that they'll be indebted to you or, or so you can get a pat on the back, but because you're concerned for them. So how concerned are you for your fellow Christian's welfare? The people God uses in mighty ways are more concerned for their brothers and sisters in Christ than they are for themselves. God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I can't imagine my life without them. They're a helping hand when I need one. They're a shoulder to cry on when I, when I just feel like I can't even take another step. God. When I became a Christian, I had no idea I was gonna have such a large and wonderful family. Holy Spirit, help me, to, help me to always remember to express my gratitude both to the Lord and to my brothers and sisters for all they are to me. Help me to live out my gratitude as I pay the kindness shown to me forward by loving and serving in a way that honors you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters and I will be having a meeting at 10.30 this morning. Hope you'll join us.